<laughs> you seen me in middle school, y'all know I didn't know how to do my hair. So. <laughs> You should straighten it. Wait a minute, I'm back. Hey, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Kayla, and I am back with another video. So today I am going to be going through a long, long journey of my curly hair. So this is what my hair looks like now. And this I believe is day three from a wash day so from a wash and go this is kind of like how my hair is looking um i'm going to basically just hop right in and we'll start with this first picture over here if i look down it's because i have notes and i kind of want to like go through with you guys and make sure that i'm like inserting and going over the right like pictures but basically this is my baby picture <laughs> So baby me, my hair was, it looked very coily. So it was in two pigtails, it looks kind of coily. I wanna say in this image, I probably had like two B hair maybe. It was really like just, it was like more of a wave, not really a curl yet, pretty much. So that that's like baby me. I was probably like, I wanna say two in that picture and that's probably like how my hair first started. My mom is Hispanic, so disclaimer. She didn't really know how to do my hair. She learned as she went. My mom has curly hair as well, but hers isn't as coarse or as like, um, it's not as coarse as mine. Hers is more like wavy. Hers look like curly too, but it's not to this extent. So um, we're gonna jump into when I was 10 years old. So with this picture, I don't know what I was doing. It was like a poof. I guess my hair was in a ponytail. It looks like my hair was damaged. Like from that image, it looks like someone took a brush and just like they just dragged the brush across my head and it it, it didn't do do its due diligence. Like it doesn't look moisturized. My hair looked very dry. It was not well taken care of. So I don't even know the texture that I had back then because in that photo it just looks like a poof ball pretty much. So that's that picture when I was 10. I didn't know how to do my hair either, but we're gonna move on to middle school. Now middle school, I kinda had a better understanding, not really, if <laughs> you see me in middle school, y'all know I didn't know how to do my hair. So <laughs> my hair was like always frizzy, like it was frizzy. And y'all, I had somebody tell me before and they were like, hair like that, you should straighten it. They didn't know like about heat damage or anything like that like okay or ponytail retention which is a thing so in this image right here I actually was experiencing ponytails I did cheerleading as well so like my hair was always pulled up and pulled back into a ponytail so like high ponytails and then I don't know if y'all remember the phase of like when we did the ponytails and then you would have like the bang straight in I don't know why I did that but if you're a curly girl you understand my struggle so that was another thing that I did and I was just like ponytail it because I didn't know what to do with my hair like I didn't know now I experience in this photo over here it was it was the heat damage for me so I would I would do like I would do flat twist at the top and then I would straighten the rest of my hair and as you can see in this picture my hair looks so brittle it looks so dry it like the ends look dead like it does not look like no <laughs> so now I experienced a little bit of like certain YouTubers that I saw like with my texture because honestly if y'all like if you guys are from like when I was in high school and everything like that there was not a lot of curly girls like now there's so many curly girls on YouTube and like curly hairstyles and different things and it's a trend kind of but before y'all it was a struggle to find curly hair videos I'm sorry I keep adjusting it it's such a pretty topic it's like coming low but yeah it was a struggle to find like curly hair videos or people that had like the same hair texture or the same hair type now you have mariah kaylin you have um what's another youtuber um jasmine brown like you have diff or jasmine i think it's jasmine brown you have her you have mariah kaylin you have like 
curly hair girls where you can actually see how to do your curly hair and a lot of the times it was not like that like when I was in school and I was trying to figure out what to do with my hair I didn't know what to do because there was no videos no knowledge no one could inform me because no one had the same texture or the hair type as me and it was kind of frowned upon to have your hair like curly it looks unprofessional or you shouldn't have your hair like that in beauty but that's aside from where we're going with this this is a curly hair journey not a rant so basically get into high school and i start seeing protective styles right so in this picture i had fox locks so i kind of learned about fox locks braid out twist out that right so i do fox locks and that was like one of the protective styles i would go to then after high school i did my first big chop so when I did that big chop, it was a pixie cut. I can't find the photo of like when I did a pixie cut, but I did a pixie cut. It was super, super cute. So I did the pixie cut and it was after high school because I went to culinary school and everything like that. Now moving forward, since I couldn't find that photo, this photo here was actually when I was in college. So my hair had grew tremendously and it, I was doing hair masks, I was doing satin pillowcases dry with the t-shirt towel like if you want to see like my curly hair routines or my curly hair videos make sure that you guys go check it out and you guys will see because i have a whole like link of how i actually get my curls like this so um i had that going on and then this is when i got like the braid outs and i did the twist outs and things of that sort so that's kind of what happened there so after that and i experienced more like more styles and stuff like that I went and I um I was convinced and ladies especially my younger girls if you're watching and you watch my videos listen to me don't do what I did <laughs> I was dating somebody and they were like oh my gosh I think you should like I, no well I mm, let me put it this way so I kind of told the person I was dating and I was like mm, I kind of want to cut my hair but I was so frustrated because in this picture I had blow like I blow dried my hair and this was after three years of not straightening it right so I blow dried my hair and I straightened it it still looked like this so I was so mad so I told um the gentleman I was dating I was like I want to cut my hair like I'm frustrated I'm over it I don't want to have curly hair anymore da, 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 like everything he goes you should cut it all off. So I was like, okay. And one day I just woke up and I was like, yep, yeah, I'm gonna cut it. I cut it off. If you haven't seen that video, make sure you check that out because I do have where I chopped off all my curly hair. So I did it. I was so sad. Y'all, I was sad. But I did it and um, it was really cute. I had um, ended up going and I did finger waves. And it, girl, could not tell me nothing with my finger waves. Super cute. So that's what I ended up doing. So now, fast forward to now, I dyed my hair, I went through the blonde phase, and it was really hard to get to the blonde phase. So like, to dye my hair blonde, y'all, struggle. So my hair was already like kind of a honey brown, like natural hair color. So I went from a honey brown to a red to an orange to <laughs> back to honestly, Cream of Nature is this color that I have now. If you haven't checked out how I went from light to dark, make sure that you check out that video so you can actually see how I dyed my hair this color. But I used Cream of Nature's color and that's how I actually achieved this color. And I'm really in love with the way that it looks. I was kind of nervous and I was kind of scared of actually dyeing my hair this color because of the fact that I had just dyed my hair like blonde and like to lighten it up because it was orangey and I didn't like that orange tint. So I didn't wait the full four to 12 weeks or the eight weeks of how long you're supposed to wait before dyeing hair. So I was like, oh my gosh, I'm probably gonna be bald. But it was okay, because I did a deep conditioning treatment and I kind of explained into depth what I did to get my hair back into this healthy state. But if you guys enjoyed this video, if you like my curly hair journey, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You already know the vibes and join your girl's tribe. And I will see you in the next video.